So I joined in the office in 1998 uh, and I was working uh, as an architect in, I, I studied in, in Australia originally and I was working in New York uh, and then I applied to work here and managed to get an interview. Uh, which was a, which was which was difficult uh, to get in those days, and then started in '98. I think the importance is that we we really do uh, use the full consultant team, the whole support team, to create a uh, sort of the ingredients of the design that we can assess and create something unique out of, rather than imposing an ego directly on the scheme. And what it, what I thought was. Amazing when I first uh, moved here uh, was the so the the unquenchable thirst for options and testing and analysis. Uh, I, I, I thought the office would really make a decision right out of the uh, right at the beginning, but the process I find is much better because you you really leave no stone unturned. The use of prototypes and mock-ups is, is crucial, you know, and, and I think Norman has set that up through through the very early days of the practice and we've continued to use that. Uh, and it's great for us, it's great for the client and it's great for the contractor so they can all see how the project is going to be realised. They can test and, 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 and find where the problems are, learn from that, make it easier during the actual construction process. It was one of those moments where I sort of asked whether I was interested to go and I had to make the decision that day. And we were basically, my wife and I had just been married and we moved down there within, I think about a week. Uh, so it was a very rapid movement down, but I thought the opportunity was enormous to design the, 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 uh, the airport there for the Olympics. So I, I really jumped at the chance. Um, I thought the whole experience uh, of being on site, I really learned firsthand how to build something in China uh, with, a, with a client who was determined to use everything would be made in China. So, so we had to then use the local abilities and technologies to, to create a project that still was something we had originally envisaged. But I think the end result um, uh, was extraordinary uh, and, and delivered in less than four years uh, for one of the biggest airports in the world. So I think to see uh, something happened so quickly uh, and to uh, to realize the importance of good design and the good premise of design straight at the very beginning uh, because there was no, no opportunity for change really on that project it was a very very quick process Russia Tower was was one of those projects which unfortunately hasn't been built uh, was a victim of the financial crisis uh, back in 2007 what was unique about that was uh, creating a 600 meter tower that could accommodate a whole range of functions with 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 residential at the top uh, so 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 the whole principle of that was to create the most stable structure we could possibly uh, think of at that point and the the whole design was driven by the structural uh, uh, diagram uh, where we take all of the the weight of the building down through the structural legs down to the corners um, on, a, on, a tr on a sort of a propeller plan, uh, 120 degree plan. Working with, in close collaboration with the engineer at the time, um, which was Bob Halverson, uh, was, was crucial because we came up with the diagram very quickly by listening to him to say what is the most efficient structural diagram we could use here. Uh, and that principle is, is, I think what I was saying before about the importance of being truthful and honest with the materials. Uh, is, is played very much a part of then the future development of other towers that I've been designing uh, with, my, with the team, with the design board um, around the world. The role of the architect I think becomes even more important in this, this era of AI and uh, automation. Uh, I think the, 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 the importance of lateral thinking and creativity uh, is, is something society is always in, has always needed and I think will continue to need. Um, the, the, the way the office works, works and the way that Norman has set it up I think is has, it's shown its resilience listening and um, being honest and truthful with the, with the design uh, as much as possible and these become in a way guiding principles for the rest of the office. Uh, and so, the, so with the design board and the design studios, 
uh, I think that has a, that has a, a fantastic uh, longevity ahead of it.